I'm back. Bear Bones Barkhead in Norwood Sox Balding. I hear the crowd cheering. Thank you very much. I appreciate those cheers and compliments. I, they're for you. <coughs> they're for the truth. <coughs> and not me. What I heard this. I want to remind you, it's one of the greatest cheers I ever heard. Do it, Norman. Do it. Or Trimet Tana. Folks, living is a Trimet bus ride. Now, I called Tana one day. Trimet staff member. I said, I, I'm so happy. I, I feel like breaking into a song. I, I break into songs sometimes with those staff members and Tana likes me to sing to her and she's probably the most scrutinizing human being I've ever met in my life for me. Tana really goes through me with a fine tooth comb. So I appreciate Tana because she's no lightweight one bit. And when Tana says do it, Norman, that's really because normally she's saying, Norman, why don't you shut up? You're wasting your time. Norman, you sound like an idiot to me. Click hum, click hum. Well, when Tana says, do it, Norman, do it. This is, this, I, I, I'm Humpy Hollister. I used to sing with the great vaginas in my past. I have a career. I didn't get here by just, you know, just jumping into the seat one day. I walked a long mile to get here, bare bones broadcasting, and I sang for Humpy, I'm Humpy Hollister, and I sang for the great vaginas. And they used to say, go, Humpy, go! And I really enjoyed hearing that, and that would make me go. There's no two ways about it. It's like somebody cocking that, cracking that throttle. Well, when Tana goes, do it, Norman, do it, it's the same. It's, something just goes, I don't know what it is. You know, this is a TriMet bus ride, and she encouraged me. I, I said, Tana, that bus ride will flip. I didn't do it that day. I was on a bus, and she wanted me to sing uproariously out loud on the bus. Well, you know, the driver gets kind of shook. And, you know, uh, security gets all worked up. And Well, I, I knew she was encouraging me. I didn't think the crowd had the, sometimes you, they cheer you to do things on stage that you don't think the crowd can handle. So you just say, thank you very much. But I don't think the rest of you are up to that yet. I'm able to do that. Only, man, if I break into, you know, the bus driver would freak. Oh, well, there's all back there. So, no point in causing an uproar. It'd be like running around with a stick that says peace when they're shooting at you. Ain't the thing to do. When you're using a stick that says peace and they're shooting at you, you think you ought to try another method. Ha! Ah! It'd be like screaming out loud on a TriMet bus, the driver will flip. He's not trained to take it. I can't drive the bus. You know, they're free. Oh, it's like walking there. You know, it's like asking mom, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You ever point to your moms and say, what's that? Shut up! I, I, I just wondered why. She could have explained it. It would look different to me. I don't get it. Anyway. It comes back to me. Do it, Norman. Do it. Try Metana. I heard her voice this morning when I blasted the hypocrites in Oregon City. I blasted them. I just get, I'm breaking down. Basically what I, I told them, I'm breaking down. I, I just, my nation is, I could go and cry in your arms, humanity. My personal experience and my nation, I'm breaking down. And I went to Lord Prayer and the Lord said, I want you to go in public and break down. I said, they'll freak. Yep, they will. I want you to go in public and break down. Bring that prayer life you're bringing to me take it public and pray to me publicly, the Lord told me. I'm horrified to take my prayer life publicly. Tana says, do it, Norman, do it. <laughs> you know, easy for Tana to say. She can hang up and go home. I can't. When I go, I got to go all the way and there ain't no hanging up and going home. Nope. Once you go all the way publicly, you never get to hang up and go home again. Employment is over, and you're now authentic. Is there anything authentic in employment in this planet? Is there anything authentic approaching a government? You don't like officials. I don't see anything authentic approaching any official ever. When did authentic ever approach anything official with this globe? When? 
your slimy opportunists, you mock the authentic, and you peed all over official. And you can't blame the official. And I shall never. Why would I? I'm a monarch. I'm official. I am the official. The only official. Now I respect official. Do you? It shall remain. You are mauling official here. What in Sam hell do you think you're up to? You're tricking it, lying to it, beating it to death. The position of official. How dare you? You have children living here. Who the hell do you think you are, chief? Did the chief mock official? Ha! When is there one chief that didn't mock? Official! Where? When? Bring them! Any chief living right now with any tribal, come here! Official, I'll get into your history, same as mine, compare my failure with yours, and eat you! I'll compare my failure to any other failure, going, and you're all in failure. So I'll compare my failure to all and every failure here, and eat you! In your maker's dream chamber. Do you understand? And I'll remind you of something. My failure was well arranged by my maker. Starting with birth defect on. I'm plenty angry that I have any failure at all. I don't know about you. I think you're hiding with your failure and think it's quite okay. I don't think mine's okay and I'll ravage my maker that I got any. In any way, shape, or form, for any reason, shape, or form, that I have failure with this planet, my maker's in one hell of a lot of problems. You better know it. There's no problem here. There certainly is with the Lord when I get there. What of that? And you can count on it. Emphatically. More than you can count on anything emphatically you're up to. I'll affirm you that one. Botany, physics, you ain't up to nothing getting in the corner. I got up to something. And obviously it's very human. And you ain't. Taking care of human, any of you. Bernstein, you mock human. You're mine. Your mother's crotch is mine, Bernstein. Where did I find that dream chamber? You're mine, Bernstein. Your mom's crotch is mine. I'll find you there. Got a pity on you. One of you that seeds is you. Yup. Now you're not. You're not, Bernstein. You're not failing me. You're not failing Don anymore. You're not failing Lexi anymore. You're not failing the truth anymore. You're not failing what you told me anymore. You tell me one thing and sit around and spit it on Bernstein, you're going to be a sorry dog for it. And that's what you did. You mock me in my guts, Bernstein. You mock me. You tell me things like that and turn around and spit on Bernstein to my face. No! I was bigger, Bernstein. I'm too small to handle burns. I'm too small to handle any of it. That's the whole issue. Look at me. Can bare bones stand a chance here? It's a joke. You've mocked how fragile and vulnerable I am since I was before I was born. You mocked this vulnerable position before I was born. And you're still mocking anyone in it. There you are. And then sit around and yell justice. Ha! You mock every vulnerable position. And anyone in it. That's what you do.